Right, so you are now watching a new mini tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can connect to the Firebase using Python and an GUI framework. So uh, we are here using uh, an code editor which is, which is uh, Visual Studio Code and it's uh, completely free uh, to use and uh, I have opened uh, an uh, main.py and using uh, this uh, in a virtual environment to install all uh, the uh, add-ons to be separated from the source uh, code. Uh, so enough talking, let's get started by importing PV and after that I will say uh, PV dot require, we will require a version, basic version which is here and we will import from a KV dot app, we will import our main app which is here and after that we uh, also want to import uh, requests and also we want uh, to import the uh, json we will uh, not use uh, this two library until the finish of this video and also uh, we want to import from kv.lang we want to import the builder and after that let's get started writing our first line so uh, from builder dot load string and uh, we will uh, load something we will start by uh, using so firstly uh, we need an a screen uh, manager uh, to uh, make our uh, main layout so i will type screen manager and uh, after that uh, this screen manager has uh, the id of manager and uh, after that we have a screen this screen has the box layout and this big box layout must be orientation of vertical so uh, uh, we have uh, some buttons and we have some, some uh, uh, tickets and all these are stacked vertically so uh, we will say the orientation to must be uh, vertical and uh, we have after that uh, we must uh, get an a grid two grid layout the first one uh, will be also uh, have columns of one and uh, must be have two uh, uh, two widgets the first one will be the text input and uh, this uh, will be maybe uh, size hint y.2 and the id will be json but before the text uh, input we can say that we have i will increase this to be 25 and i will say that we have an label and uh, make sure you type it correctly the first one is capitalized and this label will have the text of right uh, right uh, json code below so we have finished <coughs> our grid layout this is the second grid layout i must say because this is box layout and is vertical and you have only two grid layout the first grid, grid layout will be 50 percent of the uh, overall uh, dimension and this also will be 50%. Let's explain this by completing this one. And we have columns, also we have the button, and this button will have text of batch uh, line, and uh, we can also have some button, and the same post uh, line, another button this will be a text of bot uh, line and after that we have the button and a text of uh, delete from database and i don't say or uh, know what is the reason why uh, must be colorized correctly uh, so uh, finally <coughs> we have some uh, button the text will be let's say it will be 
get print contents uh, enough talking uh, so uh, we have to grid out uh, and each grid out is vertically aligned uh, this one will be 50% of the uh, of the height and this one uh, will be 50 percent let's explain if we have the overall uh, uh, let's say the height is around uh, 500 so uh, if this one will be 2050 uh, and this one also will be 2050 and this one will be uh, around uh, a quarter of this uh, vertical line and after that we will say that we have an class my app inherits from app this will be defined build of self and return something so uh, we must say that we have kv file will be this one so we will return the kv and after that if the name will be the the main so uh, we must say that uh, we want to run this file so uh, we can test our file now and you must ensure that you have this uh, framework and this also must install by saying here you must install by you firstly you must install kv and after that you must install requests and uh, JSON, uh, JSON is already uh, packaged with your Python installation. Uh, so uh, we have now done for our file and uh, now we will uh, go uh, to test our uh, file. Make sure that you have typed it correctly. We have this return to all these lines. If you don't want to include the KV file inside your Python file, you can make a new file which is .kv. Let's explain it. You can go here and make a new file. This will be my.kv. And you can put all these contents from screen manager up to this here. But if you uh, want only one KV, uh, one Python file, you can ignore this one and use the build, builder string. If you used the KV, you will not use the builder uh, from a language anymore. So uh, let's go back and uh, now uh, we will run our file. Uh, so if you want to run our file, you can go to the terminal. Uh, if you don't uh, have the bashrm, you can go to the terminal and buy some three main one dot boy and this will uh, run our file. But uh, we have typed the not correctly main zero one dot by and after some time it will uh, work. So uh, this is half the vertical and this is half. To make this much, much more, so we can go for 0 0.5, 0 0.55, because uh, we can uh, base, let's close this one, because uh, why I have make this, because we may have uh, some uh, larger text area, which we can uh, base some JSON file here or uh, edit this and i think we can also make it larger around 6.5 and i will save our file uh, now uh, we will go here and add the first on release button so uh, on release we will base from the app this uh, batch and uh, we have uh, json here which is id and uh, we will create this now but before you start you must go in your database and uh, basically this is the firebase and if you uh, log in using your gmail account and after that you must go to the database and you will create a, a database and make sure you have this to be real time and make sure in the rules you have read and write to be true that's why we are now going to the data and this is some data which I have added certainly and now we will uh, see how we can edit data, how we can add, how we can put, how we can batch, how we can post, how we can delete one, only one item, how we can delete all the items and this is a pretty straightforward. 
So let's go back to our visual code and we will define the URL. How we can get the URL? This is the URL. We can click on the URL and copy this one. And after that, I will list here. And again, we will define something. We will define the batch, and this will be self. And taking some JSON, so we will load uh, firstly the JSON uh, file. So uh, we will load the JSON. So uh, this is JSON which will be in the text, which is here. So we'll load this one first. And after that, let's uh, go to import the requests dot batch. We will uh, batch, uh, batch the requests. Firstly, the URL will be self.url and after that, the JSON will be to database. Basically, this request must give a, a have one argument, which is the first argument, which is the URL, and second argument is a JSON file. And uh, it will batch or post or anything up to this function, and it will put to the, this database. I don't try to use this database because I have deleted it uh, currently and uh, this is not exist yet. Uh, so uh, we uh, have these values and I think now we are uh, done. Uh, why we didn't use two database? Because uh, this inside this function, but URL uh, inside the app, not the function. Now talking, let's go and uh, finish this one. I will run from here and I will say I have the name which is my name and let's go to batch align and after that let's go back here and it's exactly here name my name so it added this one let's go back and uh, change uh, my name zero zero one and my name zero zero two and batch align and it should work exactly as we want it had added recently this and make sure you have this to be real time database uh, to added here without refreshing enough talking let's go and add the next uh, function which uh, is the post we can go to copy all this one and paste few time so I will paste three times and this will be the post and this one will be the post and also this will be the bot request and this will be the bot request and after that we have the delete let's delete only uh, some part so after that we don't want it we will load something we won't have uh, the url will be self url and only the what we want here we uh, will exclude this one and after that we will uh, go to add something we will add two lines here and after that we will add the dot json which we have excluded currently and after that we will uh, say here the json <coughs> so uh, we can also say define delete self json and we have two database which is json dot loads of the json 
and after that we have the requests dot delete we will delete all from the URL and uh, we want also the JSON to be this one right and uh, I will close the old version and let's see what we have here I will rerun after saving and let's see what we have so uh, we can delete from the database but we make a mistake we must uh, copy this binding and paste to all these lines and after that we uh, here we have them the post request and here we have the bot request and here we have the delete request and finally uh, let's delete this is delete and this is delete part all right uh, now we will uh, go to uh, rerun the app and after that we will run the this one and uh, let's type test of the bot and a few lines few line lines here and all right we will post online again we will post online and again we will post online so if you see here you will see three lines which will here and the post uh, is and request which is post exactly what in the line except it will be repeated it will repeat the line so what is next uh, the next is to go to this one and bot online let's see what we have so it uh, deleted everything and put this line so the bot function delete all the database all the data in your database and put this only one line and we can also go to this batch well, let's say batch uh, it exists existed already so we can change few here uh, change this one and batch again and it has added already because it didn't exist yet and what about the delete so it deleted everything so the delete has deleted everything but we don't want to delete everything so I will post online and after that uh, let's let's post some few things we will uh, post an name camel at to I will post any name I will post my name and after that I will uh, batch it here and I want to go to this one and let's see what we have so it's a name uh, so uh, we want to delete this name how we can delete this one so I will uh, go here and delete uh, from the part here which is here delete part we will delete only one record so uh, we will delete only one record so we will go here uh, and we must uh, this one will be the json text and after that let's go back save and close the file and let's copy it close and uh, rerun our app let's go back and we uh, can firstly i want uh, to paste nothing so i want to delete the name and from here i want to delete the name record which is existed here so we want to delete this one so we have concatenation from the url and the name and the dot json file which is maybe here so uh, we will go back and rerun our app we have run it correctly and let's delete from the database correctly we have nothing we have deleted the name and nothing now in the database and I think so it's existed yet let's go back 
it's the name and let's see what we have here we have delete part from the delete part and let's go back so I will save the file and uh, rerun from here let's delete from the database let's delete so, uh, so this is batch and you should delete like this we have missed the typing uh, the batch so I will rerun and make sure you have noticed here we have the name and uh, we have only two records the first record is this one and you have this second record let's see if the name will work so we will delete and correctly it has been deleted from database so this was a tutorial on how uh, you can uh, use the request and uh, using uh, some libraries from Python to connect to the firmware. And this was a mini tutorial. And in the second tutorial, I will see you how we can uh, get all the data from the firmware and uh, paste it inside this label. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.